So Brian, we're here at the whiteboard now. And you know, now that we've gone through the training for the resident return standardized work, we can take a look at it in action now. All right. So up here, let me direct your attention, we have our audit. So you can see for all the weeks, every single standardized work for all of our team members have been done, including our provider, which we just went over. Okay. So let's take a look. Today is the 18th. Um, okay, right here. The provider was actually, a, a provider was observed and it's red. So that means there's an opportunity for improvement, a couple steps that may have been missed. So to take a look at see what the steps were missed, we always go back to our trustee standardized work folder here. Let's take a look. So flipping through the tab, we can see the resident return visit. And then sure enough, on the 15th and the PM, there is a red there. Again, opportunity for improvement. Let's see. And here is our standardized work that we just went through and we've gone through all the training. And here is a Pareto chart that shows from all the different standardized work audits which steps were actually missed. So you can see here there's a couple of steps. Look at One it. is the red flag. You know, I think that's a pretty important, um, important step. It's to ensure that the patient's inter interaction with the provider is not interrupted. Another one here, you can see on the 15th was missed and quite, quite frequently missed, was checking for two identifiers. Important, you gotta make sure we're seeing the right person. But over here, you can see step 11. That was missed as well. Looks like it's pretty commonly missed. And that says the home meds. Let's take a look at that. Number one. So here is the actual the med reconciliation. And this has been you know, a very important step, but we've discussed in the past maybe it's not the, the current um, the, the current standardized work may not be the best or in terms of efficiency. Mm -hmm. You think of maybe some other ways we could improve this, maybe take it away, make it a absolutely yeah. put it in a different order or and try to rethink things and revamp it. I totally agree. We could always think of new ideas and make this better so that we could all have a new, more efficient, standardized work. So say if Dr. Barry, you were to suggest that, what you would do is turn over here to our new ideas and maybe have a new suggestion. Maybe we can move this step to say intake or another another step during the standardized work. Okay? So it would just require you filling out this form and then we could discuss it during our next board meeting and we could, and we could probably see if we can make that, uh, that change. I mean, the key thing is with this is we like to collect this data to see, well, if these steps aren't being followed, well, maybe there's an opportunity for improvement. Absolutely. Okay. There's always room for improvement. Always. And as you can see here, there's been a couple versions, mm -hmm. and that means that we've taken in that, that, intake, that input from our, our team members to make sure that, the, that this fluid document is the most efficient as possible and never final. So, kind of gone through that. We've gone through the training. Now you're formally trained. I'm going to need you to sign that paper as our contract that you've actually been trained. All right. All right, Brian, any questions? No, I think that, that explains everything. I think we're good to go then. Yeah.